Okay, I should be unlisted now. I'm going to continue painting my envelope that I'm painting to send my ATC coins off to Beth Schuler. So I've done this little owl. This is the address side. And I'll put a label here and a label there. I might work with this owl some more. I like it. But I want to do something similar on the back, but I don't like what's going on on the back here. So I ran out of time in my morning stream. So I'm unlisted now, and I just want to finish this up. So I'll try to talk while I'm doing this. Let's see. I think I'm going to go back in with some more orange on this. And it. what I want is is to put those black owls and I think I want to work in a vertical format on the back like this and we'll have them sitting in a tree so to speak but let's let's go back in with a lighter color and some of this will blend in which is okay with me. But I didn't like what was going on. I'm not sure that that's standing out enough for me. Let's try some more white. I need this to be a lighter color so my dark owls will show up better. I wanted it to be a sort of a yellow orange let's see what this does yeah this might be more what I'm after yeah if I can keep it if you can keep it Benjamin Franklin said if you can keep it I think he was talking about our liberty Yeah, see, it gets kind of tannish. It kind of blends in. But that's okay. I want that, too. see what's on the other side here yeah now after I get my black owls painted on there this is just background but while I'm waiting for this to dry let's set it aside and get out my dictionary look I got some on my and I have pages in here that need sponging on it let me get my tablet out of the way and let's just do some stenciling on this with my leftover paint I don't have a whole lot of leftover paint left but And this is a wipe off. This is a dictionary I've been using for a couple years now to wipe off my scrap paint. And I usually wipe off my paint and then you're supposed to come in and do stenciling and doodling. And that I mostly get paint and stencil and that's about it before I move on to something else. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's work on this side. And let's get something different. Shall we try this in black? This is a real uh, intricate design. 
Let's try it in the black. And I I'll put my finger in the paint. So I've been going since 4.30 this morning, but I got all the bases done for my snow globes, eight pages, 18 on a page for postcards. I'm doing Christmas postcards, and I'm estimating I need between 100 and 120, but I made 20 some extra. Oh, I like that. Let's continue on here. I made some extra just in case I need them. I might save the last page of them. And if I don't need more, more, I will do a different type of snow globe on the last 18. Now, let's take this and just use up the rest of my paint, which isn't much. Orange and white, some green. greenish border in there. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I have some paint left here, but if I smear it on these pages, I will stick them together, and I don't want to do that. So that'll go in the trash, and this will dry. This will be set out to dry. And let's go back to my envelope. Oops. I got snow globe patterns there. So I think I want to do my little owls. have to find my owls again that I was using. I was in Pixabay. And I doubt that I can find it again. Clear all that out. And let's go to my tabletop. Pixabay. O W L. Go. I'm gonna see if I can find the one I was using. <sighs> yeah. Bay keeps stopping. Well, I kind of know. I kind of know what I did. So let's see if I can do this from memory. And I threw my paint away. I threw my black paint away. <laughs> let's get out some more black paint. 
here is what I'm doing for the coins. Just put them all over here, out of the way, so they don't get... Uh, I don't think I need any of this anymore. But who knows, I might. So I was painting an owl. And I was doing it sort of... Let's see. Do I make him bigger or keep him the same size? I think he's a pretty good size. And let's start down here. Give him a wing. way. And he's got a head up here. bit more rounded head with another ear. Does that look like an owl? I think so. And this will kind of be in silhouette. And let's do another one down here. We'll do two of them. And I guess I better check and see if I'm actually streaming out there. Now let's go to my channel. And videos. Yes. Okay. I can keep an eye on me. I can keep an eye on me. Sometimes my phone will turn off and I'll keep going and before I know it, my phone's run out of juice, but I haven't. And it disconnects. All right, let's give him an ear and an ear here. And let's fix the wing and the tail a little here. Like that. We could probably even do that a little bit more here, too. Maybe make it a little bit longer. There. I think I'm happy with that. Now, the problem I had with the one on the other side was my pen. My pen is paint still wet. And even when I dry it, it's not... Dry. So I think I'm going to get out my fine line pink applicator and do my white line. Liner out. I'm reaching for it. And there's the black one. We don't need the black one, we need the white one. And I just filled that the other day, so it should be good. Filled it in my stream the other day. So 
it should be good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw the wing and then I'm going to draw an outline along the whole bird, put in the nose and the eyes and the head here. So we're going to do the same thing over here. And it works better to do a fine liner paint over wet paint rather than an ink pen. All right, so let's put the nose in here. Give him kind of a longer beak. And then it has the head coming this way and that way. And the eye was round, but it had a something like that. And maybe a little bit. We'll go back and work on the eye. And then it had a line in here. And lines there. And in here. Oh, I see. This eye will come out a little bit more like... like that. If I don't like it, I can paint over it. That's what I like about paint. Alright, so in here I had a leaf shape like this. And there's a little flower down in here. And then there were three kind of leaves going up this way. And they had little leaves in there. Now I may come back and work on that owl's eye, but I can't do much while it's still wet. And once you get used to using these fine liners, they're really kind of fun to use. But you have to get used to them. And even if you haven't used them for a while, you still you still need to get used to them. This one's going to have a bigger head, I think. Hmm. Maybe I don't have I don't have big enough eye, dark eyes on there. I might go in with some black paint. I have to have darker eyes. And then we have the little flower down in here. And a little leaf shapes in here.
Now, let's see if I can't just take a... I don't know if that white is dry enough, but let's see if I can't dot an eye in there. Yeah. His eyeballs were too... He was going to sleep. There. And I might even do that over here and make him a little bit larger. And then, let's do some black around the edges here. Let's see how I want to do this. Turn this around. This is an envelope that's going to go out in Happy Mail to Beth Schuler for the Artist Trading Coin Swap. Do this one. I want it to come this way. I want these leaves to actually, now yeah, they're going to go up. there.
I couldn't finish this during my stream, but I wanted to finish it, so I'm doing an unlisted stream. All right, let's dry this because I do want to go over and work on the other side a little. And it'll take a little bit for this fine liner to the what I put on with the brush dries pretty fast. But the fine liner takes a little bit to dry. So I'm going to concentrate on the white with my heat gun. And as long as it's dry to the touch, I can flip it over. And it is the top one's dry to the touch. So there's no white on my hand. There's black and orange, but there's no white. So I think I can flip this over. And I want to refine that little bird and put some black around there. Um, this white looks, works good, the white pens, but you have to have it either on black paper or a completely dry paint. So let's see if I can improve this little guy here. Just kind of smooth out some of these lines. Now let's work on his eye a little. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now, let's put some... And I think I might try to do that with my black line, fine liner. Let's see. Let me reach down and get it. I had it in my hands. Here it is. It's kind of a dark blue. No, I think this is the dark blue. Fine line paint applicators. F-I-N-E-L-I-N-E. -E. And I'm using the standard 18 gauge tip. And this should be the black. Let's see if it's black. Yeah. So what I want to do here, let's start in here and let's just kind of make some leaf shapes.
Okay, now the address will go in here. So I want to make a portion for the address. Right in here. And the self-address will go up here. So maybe about like that. And let's put some dots in here. And some dots. All right. So around here, I think I want to put little leaves. Let's put dots around it. <laughs> Am I up too high? I don't know. Where. No, I guess I'm okay. I'm just drawing little leaves around the address portion and I'll do that around the edge of the envelope too. And see all that stenciling that I did taken alone really wasn't all that great but when you work it in with your design it all falls into the background okay they'll be putting the stamps up in here but that's okay I'm going to still go in and put some leaf shapes Let's go over it and turn it upside down. And I'll put dots on the... I think I'll put the... Well, I guess I'm going to put them where they fall. Because um, I need to put an address label in there. There we go. Now we need some leaves.
let's do some in here. No, he's going to be sitting on a branch. So we need to give him a branch here. happy with it. I could bring this line down a little. Let's bring the line down in here and do some branches in here. Uh-oh, I might. I might not. Yeah, I drug this to the paint too much. See if I can get that unclogged. No, it's clogged up. I'll have to take and wash it out. I'll do that with my ink pen. Let's let that dry. And... I think I'm done. Maybe I can do that with the tip of my brush. Let's try. I have a little extra paint here. No, I think I'll go in with my ink pen instead. Okay. So, here's the finished address portion. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow morning on my next live stream. Let's put a little kitty cat on the side here. Let's throw this away. These probably won't show, but there we go. Probably the thumbnail will be this yeah. part. Yeah. So, I had to get that sneeze in. <laughs> had to get the sneeze in. All right, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye for now.